بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي امين يا رب uh, today i'm going to be talking about an interesting subject but uh, before i do i want to just translate this tradition of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam before me and this is because this is a very uh, a delicate a very sensitive uh, subject nowadays a lot of people feel me and my sheikh we're going to jannah and i don't know about the rest of the people um, I just want to clarify this hadith of the Prophet ﷺ that I think is mistranslated and misunderstood. Uh, and that is the hadith of the saved sect. And the Prophet ﷺ said, قَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ إِفْ تَرَقَتْ يَهُودُ عَلَى إِحْدَى وَسَبْعِينَ فِرْقَةٌ فَوَاحِدْ فِي الْجَنَّةِ So the Jewish people, they divided into 71 groups and one will be in Jannah وَسَبْعُونَ فِي النَّارِ and 70 will be in the hellfire. وَإِفْ تَرَقَتْ نَصَارَ عَلَىٰ إِثْنَيْنْ وَسَبْعُونَ فِرْقَةٌ فَإِحْدَى وَسَبْعُونَ فِي النَّارِ وَوَاحِدْ فِي الْجَنَّةِ And the Jewish community divided into 72 groups. 71 will be in the hellfire, one will be in Jannah. وَالَّذِي مِنْ نَفْسِ مُحَمَّدٍ وَالَّذِي نَفْسِ مُحَمَّدٍ وَالَّذِي نَفْسُ مُحَمَّدٍ بِيَدِي by the one in whose soul, uh, the, who's, by the one who has control over the soul of Muhammad sallallahu meaning Allah. La tafarraqanna ummati ala thalatha wa sab'una firqatan. Ala thalathin wa sab'una firqatan. Definitely my ummah will divide over the 73 groups. Fawahid fil jannah. One will be in paradise. Wa ithnani wa sab'una fil nar. And 72 will be in the hellfire. قيل يا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من هم قال الجماعة وفي رواية أخرى وما علي وصحابي. So uh, let me just understand, make you understand the main word that needs to be understood here. What is the Prophet talking about? First of all, he's not talking about fiqhi issues. The division that is being mentioned here is referring to the word تفرقة يفرقو. فرقة يفرقو means to break from something. Not something is breaking within. Not that something is fragmented within. But if farraqa, for example, what would be something that is in the ummah and then breaks away from the ummah? Would be like the Qadianis who believe someone else is the Prophet other than the Prophet. They were part of the ummah, then they broke away. This is what tafriq means. Farraqa yufarriqu means to break away from something. So, uh, so the the grouping that the Prophet, and this is why the Prophet said, Al-Jama'ah, the group, the group. And then in another hadith, the Prophet said, uh, the, the, you know, the major, where the majority is. Those who break away from the majority is what is being mentioned. Jamul ghafir. This is another wording of the hadith of the Prophet the, the majority, where the majority is. This is the mainstream Islam will always be protected. It's not like it's not talking about the divisions within. The divisions we have within are mostly fiqhi issues. They are about legal interpretation. How do we interpret a, a certain uh, saying of the Prophet or a certain doing of the Prophet or a certain hukum within the Sharia? We can disagree with this and we have had these differences ten, since time beginning, since the Prophet ﷺ was alive himself and even after. And but where there was no difference of opinions from the beginning, الذي جعلوا دينهم شيعا وكانوا شيعا. So those who divide their deen into into parts, who are they? <coughs> that is, those people who divide themselves from the majority. Now this can happen in two ways. One is like Nation of Islam, Elijah Muhammad said, "I'm a prophet." Another way this can happen is, some people within the ummah they start thinking they're special. Like the Khawarij, for example. Uh, some people start thinking they're separate from the majority. Uh, this can become a problem. This can become where then now you no longer consider yourself, you're not going to give yourself the title being Muslim, but rather you're going to give yourself a label other than being a Muslim. And this, you know, is the very, very dangerous thing. To take a title for yourself other than the title Allah and His Messenger have given you, predominantly your identification should be your Muslim. Allah has named, named you Muslims. So those who submit to Allah 
in this, meaning in this Quran, mean qablu, before this and this, right? Uh, the dua of Ibrahim, Rabbana waj'alna muslimayni laka wa min dhuriyatina. Allah make us Muslims to you. Ya ayuhal ladhina amanu attaqu Allah haqqa tuqati wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimu. Don't die, have taqwa of Allah, and don't die except you are Muslims. You know, وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا مِنْ مَنْ دَعَى إِلَى اللَّهِ Who can be better in speech, in statement, in da'wa than the one who calls towards Allah? وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا And does good deeds. وَقَالْ And he says what? How does he identify himself? وَقَالَ إِنَّنِي مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ I'm amongst the Muslims. I'm one amongst the Muslims. I'm nothing superior. I'm just maybe uh, just one amongst those that are committed to the deen. There are others who are committed to the deen more than me. I'm also committed to the deen. وَإِنَّنِي مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ Having anything to do to break away from the title of being Muslim and calling yourself a saved sect and trying to become a sect, trying to become away from the mainstream and majority and uh, thinking of yourself better than the majority. This is not something Abu Bakr or the Sahaba, any of them understood. And so no matter what the fiqh differences were between Abu Hanifa and Imam Shafi'i, they always felt he's amongst the Muslims, I'm amongst the Muslims. This is what kept the unity. So don't use this hadith and abuse this hadith of the Prophet it's trying to say and trying to imply this particular group is going to Jannah and everyone else is going to the hellfire. As if, you know, you uh, have an understanding of the deen that is, um, this is not an understanding none of the salaf have ever had. None of the salaf have ever had this type of understanding. And uh, so, anyway, uh, so this hadith should be understood in the context of the proper understanding of the word tafriq. Again, I'll finish this hadith one more time. قَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ إِفْ تَرَقَتَ الْيَهُدُ يَهُدُ عَلَىٰ إِحْدَ وَسَبْعِينَ فِرْقَةٌ فَوَاحِدْ فِي الْجَنَّةِ The Prophet said before you, the Jewish community, okay, they divided into سَبْعِينَ فِرْقَةً إِحْدَ وَسَبْعِينَ فِرْقَةً 71 groups and one will go to Jannah. وَسَبْعُونَ فِي النَّارِ And 70 will be in the hellfire. وَإِفْتَرَقَتْ نَصَارَ عَلَىٰ إِثْنَيْنَ وَسَبْعِينَ فِرْقَةً And the Christian community divided into 72 groups. فَإِحْدَى وَسَبْعُونَ فِي النَّارِ 71 will be in the hellfire. وَاحِدْ فِي الْجَنَّةِ 1 will be in Jannah. What happened over time, if you study even Jewish literature, and what happened in Bani Israel is a lesson for us, as the Prophet said. What happened is, the, there was the majority and people started breaking away from the majority over time, over time, over time, over time until finally uh, when the temple was destroyed uh, in 63 AD or CE uh, then you know, then by that time it was completely diminished the Hawariyin of Isa والسلام, they had been subdued and uh, after the victory was given to them uh, as Allah has mentioned in the Quran also so those that broke away from the majority, okay, and broke away from the original, broke away from the original, broke away from the majority, and they are those who break away from Islam, basically, like the nation of Islam in the Qadianis, okay, and then the Prophet says, وَالَّذِي نَفْسُ مُحَمَّدًا بِيَدِي لَتَفَرَّقَنَّ أُمَّتِ عَلَىٰ ثَلَاثَ وَسَبْعِينَ فِرْقَةً By him whose uh, by by him who's who has the soul of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, my ummah will be divided into seventy three groups, meaning it'll seventy three times people will break away from the ummah, okay, will break from the majority. For wahid fil jannah, only one of those will go to jannah. Wa ithnani wa sabauna fil nar, and the seventy two will go to the hellfire. Now, when the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is asked, who are they? قيل من هم يا رسول الله يا رسول الله من هم قال الجماعة he was asked who are they الجماعة الجماعة means the group the majority where what people are together upon in another hadith specifically defining الجماعة as who Allah his Allah his messenger and the companions of the Prophet وما عليه وصحابه what I'm upon and my companions are upon okay and uh, so what I'm upon and what my companions are upon, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So 
that Islam that was carried by by the Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his companions is the same Islam that's being carried over generation to generation and generation. It's not like there's a special saved sect that is going to now uh, somehow uh, be, be a sect and also be part of Islam. Uh, it has to be people that say, This is referring to people again that have broken away from the mainstream. It can be the Shia, it can be the Qadiani, can be groups that are deviant, that have broken away from the majority. But it is not an internal breaking. It is not a breaking of, you're going to pray like this, or you're going to pray like that. These are fiqhi issues that uh, we need to understand that uh, are, uh, are not something that make us part of a saved sect or don't make us part of a saved sect. أقول قولي هذا أستغفر الله لي ولكم وليسار المسلمين والمسلمات